Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. The diagram shows a circle with center O. A, B, C are the points on the circumference of the circle. And O, C is parallel to the line A, B. Angle O, C, A is given as 25 degrees. Calculate the angle O, B, C. So here we are supposed to calculate this angle, that is angle OBC. So let us start with the given information first, where it mentions that OC is parallel to the line AB. So if these two lines are parallel to each other, then the line AC is acting as a transversal line, which cuts the two lines at point A and at point C. And here we can see that angle C becomes equal to angle A because of the alternating angles of the parallel lines. So we can write here that angle A is 25 degrees, same as angle C. Now once we have got this, let us concentrate on the triangle OAC. Now the triangle OAC is acting as an isosceles triangle because the side OA is equal to side OC which are the two radius of the same circle. So we have angle C as 25 degrees over here. So here we have the part of this angle as 25 degrees as well because of the isosceles triangle OAC. So we have found out the total angle A that is 25 plus 25. Now it becomes 50 degrees. Now once we have got the total angle A, let us look at the triangle OAB. Here again, the triangle OAB is acting as an isosceles triangle because the side OA and side OB are the radius of the same circle. So if we have the angle A as 50, we have the angle B as 50 degrees as well. So once we get the angle A and angle B, we can find out the angle O by angle sum property of the triangle and we can write over here as angle O plus angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. So we let us find out the angle O and we have the angle A as 50 degrees and so is the angle B which is 50 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So we get the angle O as 180 degrees minus 50 plus 50 we get it as 100. So it becomes minus 100 degrees. So we have the angle O as 80 degrees. So let us write over here, this is 80 degrees. Now once we get the angle O, let us again consider the parallel lines OC and AB. Now for these two parallel lines, the line OB is acting as a transversal line, which divides the two parallel lines at point O and point B. So again by using the properties of the parallel lines, that is the alternating angle, we have the angle B, that is 50 degrees, equal to angle O, which also ends up as 50 degrees, that is alternating angles or Z angles of the parallel lines. Now once we get this, since we have to find out this angle B, let us consider the triangle OCB. Now this triangle also acts as an isosceles triangle because the side OC is equal to the side OB because both are the radius of the same circle. So here if we have angle B as X, we get the angle C also as X. Now using the angle sum property of the triangle, we can write for this triangle angle O plus angle B plus angle C equal to 180 degrees. So angle O we have as 50 plus angle B we have taken as X. So is angle C because of the isosceles triangle OBC. So this is equal to 180 degrees. So combining the like terms X plus X we get it as 2X is equal to 180 degrees minus 50 degrees which gives us a value of 2X equal to 130 or x is equal to 130 degrees over 2, which is 65 degrees. 
so we have found out the angle OBC which is X as 65 degrees so finally angle OBC is equal to 65 degrees this is the value this is how we find out the value of OBC by using the properties of the isosceles triangles and the parallel lines I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching